Welcome back. All of the info is at the end of the video and some tips and secrets. Welcome back guys, we're here to do Divine Masculines update. We're going to quickly look at what is coming up for them in the first week of July 2022. Now yes, we do have our Twin Flame subscription via the website. That does cover Masculine, Feminine and Karmic week by week. We have the Freebie version and the paid version and that dives deeper into your Ascension process. So if you want to take a look at that, come through to yourdispreadings.com. Okay, this week in the mix, because we do have Neptune retrograde and we have the new moon in Cancer. There can be a lot to do with family, inner child, changing home. I'm seeing also habits, you know, looking at habits and trying to move into that spiritual sense um, of, of where they were versus where they're going. And we have seen that um, play out in the collective and it did come to certain famous artists um, really having to deal with their human psychology and habits and things to that degree. And that's because Neptune went retrograde. So if you have seen it in the media, that's the reason why. Now, we do have the faith card, which again, linking to the crown chakra. I do see there is a lot of healing and it's like it's like they're almost being super critical on themselves. Um, you know, traumas relating to the past, self-critiquing, you know, trying to find that acceptance of self. Um, sometimes it's really hard when we look at ourselves and we say, and this can be a circumstance of, uh, how can I explain it? When we realize potentially we had lacked faith in ourselves and come to a space that we're no longer that person and, and we're becoming the true version of ourselves without putting the mask on. Okay, so I do see Divine Masculine looking at how they reacted in their life in the past and, and how those things directly impacted them and why they were the way they were. Okay. So what they're moving away from is making sacrifices for individuals that aren't doing it for them. Yes, there might have been a karmic relationship that, that were associated with in a sense of trauma bonding. And I feel they're looking at the sacrifices. They're also critiquing themselves of, ah, this is a hard time for them, Dale. So it's almost like they're going to feel they're not enough. They're going to feel they can't do anything right. Um, I do feel they're dipping out of it. And this is because at the heart of it, the emotions came up during the new moon. Now, you, new moons are good. But Lilith is in Cancer. So, you know, this shadow energy, as well as with Neptune retrograde, is causing issues. There's, there's dramas in family. They really do feel. It's either A, they are in the connection at the moment. And there was a lot of dramas from their childhood, in their social circle, as well as in a karmic relationship. Um, they didn't trust people. There was a lack of trust and, and for some they might have really been a doormat. And I feel because of that, this shadow phase that is taking them down memory lane can make them feel quite traumatic. It's almost like they push these wounds down and suddenly they're, they're rearing their ugly head, so to speak. Um, this is really healthy though. It's healthy that these things are going to be clear. I do feel there was a lack of support system and I also feel with this person that they were dealing with, potentially there was a fear that um, they were going to take something from them. If they did have an access to pass over, there is something to do with that and they're feeling almost, you know, no matter what I do is not good enough, so to speak. It's like this can be feelings of being cut out of a circumstance. This is to do with wills and inheritances. It's almost feeling that they're, they're not part of that or they're not tribe. And, that, and that's really where empaths are, point blank zero. So I do feel the energy has transferred between the masculine and the feminine. We are embodying both at the moment. But particularly what you might find is divine masculine is going into the empath energy of their inner emotions. And it's not fun. It's like a, a little bit of a witch's cauldron jumping into and you're doing that shadow work. So emotionally, um, I do feel this person is quite uneasy doing this it's like it's not the norm for them okay there, there's a major whatever this is and it's going to be very individual for each person i feel they're having to make the blockage is in front of them right um i yes they're taking a tactical approach um but they're also going to do it the correct way okay so if there's if they've had an individual in their life that is a karmic and has been manipulative 
if they have to, they're going to take it the professional route, okay? This could be um, seeking professional advice, um, uh, getting an advocate on board that can be external. Um, it could be a therapist, a counsellor, a mediator. Um, I don't think this is to repair it. I think this is to drop the ball. I think this is to close the cycle. This, this can even be, not that I can give you legal advice, but it might even be seeking out a lawyer, okay? It could be something to that degree. But they're looking at it and going, right, I've got to deal with the devil in the detail. I need to address this. They're thinking about it a lot. They're like, much ado about nothing. It's time I deal. It's time I pay the very man. Now, what they're moving away from is the quietness and not communicating. They can become quite vocal. Um, there is something they want to discuss with you. It's not that they think, like, they are, they're very reminiscent. So this reminiscing of, oh, my gosh, you know, why wasn't I with my divine feminine? Um, yes, they have that. That's the good part, Right. The bad part that they're looking at is you're very hard to resist. You know, in the old days, it might have been that, you know, what do we call it? The devil in disguise. Um, that potentially could have been how feminine looked at masculine. It's kind of swapped here at the mix. Um, you've always seen the best of them. You've always seen who they really are, everything they, that they humanly could be. Um, they know this. They really do know this. They, it's not that they don't appreciate you. They didn't, they didn't have that self-appreciation due to previous um, parties in the mix. Now, that is not saying that behaviour is cool, but it is where it got to. There is a maturity coming through here. Even though there could be a circumstance... Um, they, they don't know why you didn't quit. They're like, you're a fool. Why didn't, why didn't you quit? But they, they spiritually, even if they did feel psychologically they let you go, they never really did. Um, but they thought that, that that was fair for you at that point in time. And that's what they're hoping that you can understand. That's not where they stand right now. There is this adulting that's come through, but they're very critical of themselves at the moment. Now, the bad part was they picked the wrong cup. You know, they, this could have been habits. It might have been, um, especially because we can look at this as very Neptunian. It was like, okay, I picked from the wrong cup. I, I trauma bonded or I used pacifiers to deal with my stress levels. I had traumatic people in my life. The, the bad part is, yeah, they're saying that. And they don't need to speak about it, even if they're not reacting. It has directly impacted them. And I also feel from a Mercury point of view, because we do have Mercury in reverse, if they're going quiet, it's because they're processing these factors. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Dark Knight of the Soul. Uh, it, was very, it was very healthy in the long run. The ugly is this could get nasty, right? This could get nasty. Um... <sighs> The ugly part is whoever they interacted with was very controlling. And this could be somebody that they're directly dealing with right now. Um, this individual could be very aggressive, very narcissistic. Um, they might have been very, uh, very manipulative. So you might find at times when you interact with your twin with these traumatic situations, and I hope my microphone didn't drop out there. I turned away, sorry. Um, with these traumatic situations, sometimes we can become spiritually defined. We don't want to be controlled. And so this push-pull dynamic goes on. When you don't dance with the devil, it doesn't happen because you're kind of like, that's boring, don't want to do that. Okay, bought the T-shirt, didn't like it. So I feel the ugly truth is um, they did attract some really horrible people, unfortunately, for some of them, not all of them, or it directly could have been a hard, harsh situation. Um, I feel they're realising that they do want their life back on track and they're going to have to work bloody hard to do it, which they are. They're really putting their energy into it. The hard part has been for the last five months, the astrology really hasn't done anyone. It, it has done us favours, but it hasn't given us the energy. Moving forward, we're going to have a spurt of energy. We need to go into recovery of Neptune retrograde first. Later, Juno is going to go retrograde. It's going to make us really practical at the moment inside of Masculine's life. They're still a little bit foggy. Um, the good thing is they're in the upright. So they're seeing the light. It's through the darkness comes the light. My daughter sent me um, two songs from Euphoria um, through Zendaya. And the metaphor I gave her was we only, you know, some of the most beautiful artists on the planet, um, you know, we've got Adele, 
uh, it's always through dark situations that comes light. And so it's it's in that darkness we have this clarity, isn't it? Literally, my screen was going dark there. So I'm seeing this as a reality with this person. It's almost like they're having this internal guidance system. It's like, right, I've really got to get myself out of this darkness. I have to have faith in myself. I am a different person right now. I'm going to tackle the circumstance and I'm going to believe that I actually can have the best. Now, you're, they're thinking very positively of you. Um, they not, they, they're, what they're saying is they know what they have to do, right? So they're having this clarity. They're having this guidance. So they could be sharing this privy information with you. I, they're going in for attack. They're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to come in like a, um, like a panther. They would rather be a gentle, you know, in the past, maybe they felt, how do I put it? That they had to be really energetic and, and playful and, and charismatic. And now they're like, I just need to be humble. I just need to be me. Um, it's going away from go-go. I think some of them are feeling as though they'd really love to just have a break. Have a break and stop for a minute and be. They've been in the survival instinct for a while. Um, so they're taking a moment. I do feel they're bringing a cup of love. This could be an offer of love. They're in the King of Cups. <clears throat> I'm also, oh, I'm seeing that they, that they're almost like, I think a parent figure has made them jump into their shadow for, for a situation. They're seeing a different side of the coin and it is actually helping this, this heal. It's helping them heal this relationship with people point blank zero. Even though it's been an emotional battle, it's been baggage they've been carrying, but they didn't know they were. It was like, how do I put it? Conditioning. Good old conditioning, right? Do I feel that there, there is jealousy, right? There is jealousy, but they know that you're loyal. They know that, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing that song. But yes, in the past, no people haven't been loyal or committed to them. They've expected a lot, but given zero. Um, they do have this spiritual loyalty to you, but what they're wanting to fill their cup. They're wanting to get themselves back on track. They're, they've got that last fight to make that change, okay? They're going to do all they can to clear out i also feel if there has been a group dynamic maybe a family dynamic go down and um they knew that it was a fight they're looking at it more realistically than they did before they're reaching an acceptance that you know not all of it was their fault it is where it is and things just do happen but there could be um a bit of a battle on their hands when it does come to try but i do feel they're addressing this karmic situation and wanting it done um, but they're sticking up for themselves. I feel this is them finally putting their foot down. Yeah, they're, they're going to be on it. They're on it. Okay, last message from the masculine to the feminine place. So what they're trying to say to you here is, look, you know, FYI. Okay, they know they're hiding FYI. Um, but it's to protect you. It's like, right, you t you gave me the PDF. I know what I need to do in order to get to you. Um, it's not they're hiding from you. They're reflecting because they know what has to be done. They totally have received the PDF. They're like, I know what I need to do. I need to rectify this injustice. And what that, like I said, what they want to do is to have a holiday with you. But they want to live that. They don't want it. That's why they're not moving forward or why they hadn't, is because this hermit mode energy is, I'm doing this the ascended way. I'm doing this the spiritual, authentic, logical way. I'm going to give you this guidance. I'm going to give you the clarity. I want this permanently. I want to hide out with you, but I also want to be authentic and be able to live that life with you, right, and protect you. Love and light. We do weekly updates if you want to join us. We're also live in the previous video. I said 7 a.m. That's because I was doing all the updates for YouTube in the community tab. And I do have them on the website because the website tells you, all right? So it is 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock every Friday, Western Australian time. Yes, I am in Western Australia. Love and light. I'll see you guys during the week and in the VIP members hub on YouTube. Take care, beautifuls. 
Come through and join our notification hub on the website at Yildiz Readings 5D. Never miss a notification. Do click the link directly below and it takes you straight there. Very separately, we do have free star sign subscriptions and twin flame, as well as the paid version where we dive deep. And yes, we have duo packs. The duo packs give you free meditation tracks that are hosted via the website with up and coming education content. For a personal booking, you can go directly below. We also have the webinars coming up. So if you don't want to miss such, visit the website. Otherwise, I'll see you live throughout the month please comment on the video it shares it through the algorithm and thank you and i love you all so much for being part of yildiz readings 5d journey